on St. Patrick's Day and it was great. I loved it. I remember my very first drink that I got was a Guinness. So I went to one of the head bartenders and I was like, hey, can you please teach me how to properly pour a Guinness? And she's like, honey, it's St. Patrick's Day. Just pour it like nobody cares. I'm like, okay, cool. Got it. And then it was, I don't know, I was already like eight hours in and I was handed a hundred dollar bill. So I was like, hey, uh, what's this for? And they're like, it's for tonight. And I'm like, wait, what? Like a hundred? Like am I, because they weren't telling me to leave. So I was like, I'm still going to get tipped down at the end, right? And they're like, no, you're training. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm training. They're like, today's your first day. You're training. I was like, I understand that today's my first day, but I technically wasn't hired by here. I was just asked to help out for St. Patrick's Day. And I, like I said earlier, I'm a horrible advocate for myself, but I put my foot down. I was just like, heck no, like this is not happening. So I like super respectful. I was just like, listen, I, like I said, I wasn't hired. I was just asked to help out. I was like, I'm not saying that anything's above me, but if I would have known that I was only making $100 tonight to work St. Patrick's Day at an Irish pub in New Jersey, I would have politely declined. So thankfully I stayed 13 hours later. Um, I did get part of the cash tip outs, but there actually was an um, error with the POS system. So I didn't get any of the cut from all the credit card tips. But I was just happy that I advocated for myself and got a little bit more than $100. Um, they just kept saying that, like, I'm training and this is why I'm I'm only getting a $100 bill. But I was like, but nobody's training. Like, I'm I'm literally finding everything out by myself. Like, I'm, I'm finding where everything goes, what the routine is, like, getting pushed and shoved because, of, of course, I was in the way a lot of the times. I was like, there's nobody, nobody's training me. Like, this, <laughs> this is not cool. Um, but... It was still like, even with that going home with definitely not nearly as much money as I thought I was going to be going home with, I literally loved every second of it. I didn't care that I was coming home at 530 in the morning and my kids were up. So I was going to have no rest. Um, my clothes were drenched just because of like all the spillage and opening up beers and all that stuff. Um, it was just such a cool experience. I literally loved every second of it. It was, and it was just finally, finally, I was behind the bar pouring drinks, mixing cocktails. It was really cool. And everybody was happy because it was St. Patrick's Day. 